Welcome to Cook, Serve, Delicious 2 and my continuing attempts to do all the chef for her events at all the restaurants and get a medal each time, preferably gold coloured. However, I'm not always as good as I'd like to be. This time around I'm going to go to the Contrast Coffee Company and chef number 10, which has sandwiches, uh, waffle cones, brownies, salad, but not the sanded salad, it's got fruity bits in it, and I think they're cinnamon rolls with croissants, oatmeal and Rice Krispie treats. I think they call them marshmallow treats or something, but they're Rice Krispie treats as far as I'm concerned. As the sides, uh, standard coffee is the drink, 75% buzz and 10, 10 serving stations. That shift appears to be an oddity, because normally at the Contrast Coffee Company, if I just scan quickly over them, you will see there's normally in the entrees a coffee drink of some type. At least one normally, frequently more than one. It's been in every shift so far, at least one, frequently more than one. And if I go to shift number 11, there, there is all drinks. So this is the odd shift by the looks of it, where it has no coffee as an entree. So who knows how well I'll do at this, but at least I don't have to worry about coffee, apart from as the, the standard coffee that comes as a normal drink. Okay, so I do those two. Okay, croissants, oatmeal, and okay. Close that. Okay, vinegar, mushrooms, broccoli, apples, pecans, and onion juice. Let's take that right. Rock and road. Tomatoes, broccoli, cucumbers, apples, and cranberries. Wheat, mayo, chicken, bacon, tomato, top. Oh! Seriously, with the chores on mass, you couldn't have spread them out in any way, shape, or form? really is going nuts with the chores once again, isn't it? It just will not stop with the chores. It does help if I hit the right key. Six. Oh! Mayo. Chicken spread. Lettuce, tomatoes. What are those? At tomatoes, broccoli, cucumbers, apple, and avocado. Give you some house coffee. And we'll give it to six. Yeah, mushrooms, apples, grapes, onion shoots, and almonds. Yes, there's a method to my madness here. If I don't, in a rush hour, do all these already prepared foods until they start complaining. Which will do seven, eight, nine, and two. Then it can't give me any more foods to deal with whilst I'm doing that. Which means I can get through the rush hour with a whole lot less hassle, he says, hopefully. You wouldn't have think so, though, for the way it's turned out, would you? Tangerine is not the tea key. Oh! Botheration! Yeah, it's 
literally the amount of chores this game gives me just drives me absolutely bonkers at times. Do you know what I mean? I've now run out of all sorts of stuff and I've got a rush hour coming up. Same sandwiches there. Decaf coffee for you. Decaf coffee for you. Yeah, another sandwich that's exactly the same. The wheat, lettuce, bacon, and tomato sandwich seems to be very popular, isn't it? I will give it this, it held off with the dishes rather nicely. Until the end of that rush hour. Which I think was very kind of it. Dishes done in time to do this salad followed by the sandwich. Cucumber, apples, onion shoots, and avocado. And turkey, tomato, onion. Those. And that. Yikes! And at some point during that, I, I heard the noise where I went up a level to level 81. I have no idea exactly when it happened. But I made it! One perfect day, and one pretty shiny gold medal. And apparently I've completed 326 shifts in total out of what I think is 400. And that's the first time in my life I've actually seen this one. Street sign D, a wall object of a disabled wall object, basically. Wall type number one, a brick wall. Yep, that's a wall type. Dallas 1450 Art Places. Okay, if Dallas in 1450... Well, I suppose in Dallas in 1450 was just a field. Or a wasteland. Wall panel 16. A wall panel made out of bits of boxes. A mounted wall light. Oh, yeah, it's got a decent, nicely coloured lampshade. And it looks like it's nice metal base. Well, apparently I've earned 300 gold medals. So out of all those 326 medals I've earned in total, 300 of them being gold, which I think is pretty good going, and it's added deluxe nachos to my pantry. I don't know if about six, say approximately six of them are probably bronze, six to eight maybe, which leaves 18 to 20 that are silver, which is not bad going. Yum level 81 achieved, new chef for higher levels unlocked. It's unlocked one at XLR Purple, one at UEI, yeah, and one at Absolutely. 
They're the ones I know know about. Instantly. It may have unlocked others which I'm not currently aware of and noticing, but I would actually have to go back and check, which doesn't really seem worth it. I've also got two emails to read. FAQ! Hey everyone! Bryson here to answer some frequently asked questions I get. Yes, I have a girlfriend. No, I'm not planning on leaving her anytime soon. Yes, I have a best friend already. No, he's not about to live a long si prison sentence. No, you cannot have a lock of my hair. No, you cannot have a photo of me to frame on your desk. Yes, this, this is my natural smell. No, I don't want to meet your parents. Yes, we can ha go have lunch sometime, as long as you pay. My shirt side size is medium. Thank you, Bryson. Fair enough. Need a haircut? Few sentences in the English language are as, raging, as enraging as Hey, have you had a haircut? The inane question, followed by the smug Look how observant I am, grin is what motivated me to open my hair salon. Deja do. With each vis visit, we take a photo of your finished haircut. Then, when it's time for your two-week follow-up, we reference that photo to make sure your new haircut is identical to the last. Your co-workers, friends and mandatory acquaintances will be done the wiser. Visitors on level 3 of Terragon Tower today. I wouldn't say it's enraging, but the have you had a haircut or you've had your haircut is why are you asking me this haircut? Why are you asking me why if, if I've had a haircut? Or the one where of you've had a haircut is you're exclaiming to someone who already knows that they've had a haircut. So there's absolutely no benefit to telling, talking about someone who's just had a haircut with them about their haircut because they know they've had their haircut. Yeah, just takes me down one of those wonderful thought paths which fries my brain. Okay, well that's where I'm going to end this episode, having just achieved level 81 and I've now got three new shifts to play with if I so choose. And hopefully I will see you down the road for more Chef for Hire events in Cook, Serve, Delicious 2 in the not-too-distant future. Cheerio!